Ooh. Ooh, this quality is clear. Unfortunately. Okay, hi. So, I thought, man, I should probably put on makeup before this video, but I'm gonna be real with y'all. I don't feel like it. Because we're about to go annihilate Barnes & Noble, so that means I have to wear a mask anyways. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like putting on <laughs> makeup to put a mask over it just for this clip. Could I film this clip in high- yes, I could film it afterwards, but we're already here. And this is the chaos you unfortunately signed up for. Yes, you can smash the unsub button, I totally get it, but hear me out. So Barnes & Noble is having a half off all hardcovers in store sale. Yesterday we had just driven for four and a half hours, and by we I mean me, because I'm a control freak and I could not be the passenger. Y'all could have guessed that. And um, now we're here, now we're home, and it's the last day of it. I wanna go, I'm excited. We're gonna go check out two Barnes & Noble, one that's in a bigger city, and then one that's on the outskirts of a bigger city. Maybe we'll do more than two, I don't know. But uh, ignore the book haul that's next to me. Don't worry about that, that's coming. That's being filmed probably, <laughs> shoot, where's my, where's my time? It is 1.38 right now. It may be filmed today. I really don't know. Probably not though because this camera is my backup camera. I know it's a better camera, but I don't like it for filming uh, right now currently because when I get home from work, it's like four or five and the light is awful because it's depression. I mean, winter time. <laughs> so we're on the backup, which means that it's got a better mic. I know some of y'all enjoy that. So that's nice, I guess. Um, I don't really care about that but I'm glad that that is a thing that some of you enjoy. And now you can enjoy it for this video. And this video alone, before we go venture on to this adventure, what a, what a, what a poet, what a way with words I have. Um, let's thank the sponsor of today's video and that would be Dossier. So I have worked with Dossier before. They are a brand that I very, very, very much love and adore. I love the scents that I have from them. I have quite a few more they have sent me, so I will show you a few as I go over who they are if you do not already know about them. But Dossier reproduces high and classic luxury scents at a fraction of the price, keeping the exact same high quality by cutting all the expenses in the infamous brand tax. Any scent with Dossier is $39, while designer scents range from $50 up to $280 in retail. They have an awesome risk-free system, allowing y'all to try the perfumes before committing to them. So if you decide to return the scent, they offer a standard 30-day return period with no questions asked. Dossier has a welcome offer up to 20% on the website, but if this is your first time, you can get 30% off with my code and all the information, which I will leave on screen, link down below as always for you guys to utilize, check them out. Let me know what scents you decide to grab. I will leave down there a few of my favorites that I've been loving, the one that my partner has been loving, and you can check those out as well if you would like to. But yeah, thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring today's video. Remember to use code OliviaRezaLatte10 to get that extra percentage off of your first order. And without further ado, let's go spend money on books that I said I wasn't going to do, but it's 2021. Last week, we got to go out with a bang and it's going to be a bang to this bank account. So <laughs> let's just go. Are you ready to go? Are you, hey, don't, don't, don't point out all those books I'm unhauling. Just, just think of all the books you can get. Do you want some fish books? <gasps> yeah, you do. Oh, I hear the purrs. You want some fish books? Okay, I get you one. Don't even worry about it. Don't worry. Like the day before, you're like a stone on my pillow. I don't make a sound when I shut the door. You don't have to wake up yet. We can spend all day in bed. I'll put 
the TV in the room. We'll have a Netflix marathon, KG saxophone. We'll order in a bunch of food. I'll put your favorite music on all the way, baritone. Do I need another copy of this? No. Yes. No. Yes. Please stay put. Let's see if it will. It might. Hi. Recording on the camera, not for a long time, just for a good time. Um, but I just wanted to show y'all that I did damage, like a lot of damage, like a lot. Oh god. So here it is. It's two stacks of books in here. Um, I'm gonna do it when we get home, like actually go over everything, but we're actually not gonna go to the second Barnes & Noble because I think we've done quite enough. But I wanted to talk about how crazy this sale is because I got, so one, two, three, four, five. I got five YA books and then one, two, three, four. So I got five YA books and then four adult books all for $106. That's crazy to me. Like that is bananas. I don't, I don't even understand. Like all, they were $9. None of the books were more than $13. That's just crazy. That's crazy. This sale, Barnes & Noble, you better not be going out of business. <laughs> that better not be what this is because I'm going to be upset about it. But um, yeah, I mainly got YA thrillers and I got a couple adult thrillers. I will show you like obviously everything at home, but I just wanted to update that we are going home now and I will show you the haul. I, the entire time I was in there, y'all, that trending TikTok sound right now of like material girl that was playing in my head the whole time because I was like I'm just gonna like buy these books I just want these books of so this book I've looked at it twice I'll buy it so that's a thing we're gonna get some YA thriller vlogs soon because I have enough saved up so I'm going we're picking up groceries now so we're gonna do that and then I will get home and I will show you all the books that I grabbed I'm gonna film a TikTok with that material girl sound because I'm obsessed with it but uh yeah that is it now activate my seat to go back into place this car it's my favorite feature but we're not gonna talk about it okay hi we've arrived back home it is time to reveal <laughs> what I have done. Let me adjust this just a little bit. Um, so, ooh, here we go. Let's get into it. So I'm not gonna go in any order. I'm just gonna <laughs> grab the books that are here. So the first one that I wanted to get was the new Megan Miranda novel, Such a Quiet Place. I always enjoy her books and I really like reading thrillers physically as of right now and off, 50% off. So I had to get this one. And oh my god, I'm so glad that I did get this because it has like a matte. It's like a matte, but almost rougher than matte texture. And then like her name is instead of in like raised, it's indented. And then like the tree line has some texture to it. I don't know, it's just so cool. But I've always enjoyed Megan Miranda's books. Typically these are domestic thrillers, so that's what I'm going to assume that this is gonna be. And the top it says, oh boy, does Miranda ever know how to write a twisty turny ending or two or more. And that is one thing that I've enjoyed about her books is like, it just keeps going and it keeps being more reveals. And so I actually got another one of her books, which is the girl from Widow Hills. And again, she just gets like really nice covers because I love a textured cover. I am a child, you can very easily please me, apparently, but I love that. So I think what I might do is get these two and then maybe grab another one of her books. I know I own quite a few, or I've read a few of hers, but I don't know if I own another one, but I made you just like a three thriller of books just by her. Um, because I really, y'all, I really love domestic thrillers. I love the drama. I love the like small town headiness. It's just, I love a good domestic thriller. And truly, it's just always a mess. And I love to watch other people's mess. Not my own. Not my own. And then, ooh, okay, hello. I think that is all I have for, oh no. 
This one was in the horror section, but I don't know if it's adult or not. I'm gonna guess based on it being published by Tor that it is, but I got Summer Suns. I love the southern gothic vibe of books like this. I have seen people relate it to the Raven Boys. I do not go really into books thinking that they're gonna be the elements that I love and the Raven Boys are gonna be in here because the Raven Boys is such a strange series that I don't know if it could be redone or like even something similar to it. So just I like to go in knowing that the atmosphere of books is similar and when you pitch that it's like a southern gothic book I just assume that means the atmosphere so we're set in the south and then it's got gothic elements so technically the Raven Boys has that but that's quite a broad stroke so I don't think that I'll be let down in the way that I have seen multiple other people who loved the Raven Boys and the Raven Cycle as a whole uh, were let down by this book because it was like nothing like it which Honestly, what exactly is The Raven Boys really about? If you could give me a true summary and synopsis, I'd be intrigued because I guarantee the next person will give you a whole different one because I swear to God, that plot is non-existent, but those characters are magnifique. But I'm excited for this one because Southern Gothic is queer. Love it. Then uh, for YA, I got only one YA fantasy, I think. We're proud. I got The Bronzed Beasts by Roshani Chakshki. I'm trying to see because this is a, a book that I had been hesitating to buy because I did not want to. I'm scared. I'm scared to read it, honestly. And I wanted to reread the first two before I went ahead and bought this one. I think I'm just going to swan dive in because I don't want to cry again, man. Those other two books made me cry and I'm not trying to cry again. So I'm just going to read it. But this book is beautiful and I cannot wait. Wait, I have not seen a thing about it on BookTok, Bookstagram, or Booktube, which means that I'm probably gonna love this a lot because I seem to like always never see anything about the books once you get like past book two of a series, trilogy, whatever. People start to like drop off talking about it and so I just need to find my people because this, this, you know? Next up, I got The Nobleman's Guide to Scandal and Shipwrecks. I wanted to read this one. This is actually a lot bigger than I thought it'd be. It's over 500 pages, which is pretty cool to me. I don't know what the plot is regarding this, but I did see that the um, OG, like, characters from the first books are in it, which is good. I wanted to read it, though, because... This is the only series that I've ever seen epilepsy like truly represented properly and well and I have epilepsy. I've talked about that before but I've never seen it shown especially in a historical setting um, in a way that wasn't just like cringe and weird to read about and just like I mean to be fair ew like when I have a seizure <laughs> ew but I don't want it to like also be I don't know. I don't know. I feel like people just, for some reason, every book that I've ever read epilepsy in, they just throw it in there because they're like, mm hmm, I don't know. And I mean, me neither. Neither does my brain. That's why we have problems when we short circuit. But anyways, I'm excited to read this. I liked the first two books. I really liked the first one. The second one, I was in the minority. I know a lot of people did not enjoy it. I thought it was okay. It was not as good as the first one. So I'm hoping that we have a better one here. Um, I also liked the ace rep in the second one. So if you're looking for that, that is there. Then we got two books from the person that I am the biggest freaking stan of right now. And I'm already looking over at my shelf of YA like thrillers and horror and mystery and stuff. And I'm going to have to clear off a space for my newfound love. But that's Karen M. Freaking Mick freaking Manis. I am in love with this woman. I love her books. They're so good. So I got The Cousins because that sounds questionable at best. Very Cassandra Clare already. And then You'll Be the Death of Me. I don't know the plot of either of these. I don't care. Honestly, she has already become a auto buy author for me because I love, God, I don't even know what it was. Why, why did I just blink? Like I could see it in my mind. It's a white cover. It's already a TV show, but oh, one, it's, it's on the cover right here. I totally didn't have to cheat. I already remembered that from my brain cells. Brain cell, let's be realistic. But One of Us is Lying is the first book that I read by her. And then One of Us is Next is on my bedside table because <laughs> that one is next. And then I want to read these. So I'm thinking again, this is already a good like little set 
for a reading vlog, so I may do that. But oh, man, I just love when YA thrillers are done perfectly where they still bring in the cute, like has me giggling and shit type of feeling that young adult contemporary has, but then also like, you know, murder and mayhem. And it's just such a delicate balance. And Karen, the only Karen I like, she does, well, I do like Karen Kilgariff too, I'll say that. So I only like two Karens and this one is one of them and I am excited to read these books. And then I have two more left. The first one I got is called That Weekend and I, it's by Kara Thomas. I got this because I loved The Cheerleaders. If you have not read The Cheerleaders, that is a YA thriller that had me shook, shaken, and stirred. It was so freaking good. You need to read it. And freaking Karen McFreaking Manis said she liked it. Actually, she said it was deliciously twisted, which I don't love that phrasing, so I'm gonna ignore it, but I'm excited to read this. I think that that would be another good like pairing for a reading vlog. It is a YA book club exclusive edition. Don't know what that means. Don't particularly care because it's not gonna make a difference because I took the sticker off, but it came off and it looks nice. And then the last thing that I got is because it is another, um, it gives me the vibes of Southern Gothic, but it is dark and shallow lies. First of all, this cover is beautiful. I saw this the last time I went to Barnes & Noble and I just stuck that shopping trip in like a vlog or whatever because I didn't really do this. I never do this. This is why I wish Barnes & Noble would have more sales like this because you know how Bath & Body Works Day has Candle Day? Barnes & Noble, hear me out. What if you have Book Day? and like you just have a sale just like this every year, I would single-handedly keep you in, in, in order, in work. You would have a job because I would spend all of my money that I make at my job. <laughs> for you. But this is set in Louisiana, which is my favorite setting of any books of life. We can discuss it at a later date. I don't know. I really don't know. But apparently some mysterious stranger emerges from the bayou and I was like, here you go. And I gave it to my partner to put up the stack of we will be buying these because <sighs> Even just the cover is honestly beautiful, but the little blurb in this town, magic runs deep, but secrets run deeper. I just love Southern set magical books. And if you're gonna put it in Louisiana, even better. Like, ugh, I'm just excited. I'm excited for this. So yeah, those are all the books that I got. I got a lot, man. Oh God. I don't even know if I can hold all of these up. Do I need to? Is that something that I really, I mean, I'm gonna try because why not? I mean, all of these, I got all of these for a hundred dollars and they're all paperbacks. A uh, what? No, they're not. I looked directly at them and said they're all paperbacks. That's not even kind of remotely true. These are hardbacks and they would hurt a lot if they fell into me. So thank you, Jake. I agree. Oh God. So uh, yeah, I'm, I hope you guys got to go to this sale. If you didn't, you can just live vicariously through my poor decision making. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna hold these now because honestly, I'm fearful to put them down. Thank you so much for watching. You should definitely put the shopping bag emoji for the emoji of the day. Thank you once again to Dossier for sponsoring today's video. Make sure that you use my code Olivia Reads a Latte 10 at checkout to get that extra percentage off. I'll link it all down below as usual. And yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are. I'll catch you in the comments down below and in my next video. Bye! I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. to